Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew coming to you from the beautiful Carolinas. Today's topic is going to be why you don't think like the narcissist. Think about that for a minute. Guys, if you like the content, please like, subscribe, and share. So let's just boil this right down. As the thumbnail mentions, why you don't think like the narcissist. It's very simple. Most likely you're an empath. You are kind, you're loving, you're considerate, you are not self-serving. You are an individual who wants others to do well and to thrive. And you want to build people up. You don't want to extract from people. In other words, you're an all-around good, healthy individual with no agenda. There is no secret message or meaning to you befriending an individual or striking up a romantic interest. You do it because it comes natural to you. It is native to you. You don't do things to seek to destroy other individuals. You do things because you don't have to wear a mask every day. You, need, you see that every day that you wake up, you have to face certain things just like the narcissist does, but you don't have to pretend to, to be somebody else when you're interacting with individuals. Example, if you meet 10 people today, do you have to wear a mask for all 10 of those people? No, you don't. Does the narcissist? Point being, you don't think like the narcissist because let's say for example, when you would be texting the narcissist, would you get responses? Well, during the love bomb slash euphoric stage you would, but after that, after the luster of you wore off and you were in the devaluation stage, or as I mentioned, you entered the narcissistic fog stage, when that happened, what would you get? You would be ghosted. You would get one word answers like K, the letter K, or you would get nothing at all. And that you would say, hey, well, what's going on here? Like I texted you, what happened? Oh, th then this individual who turned out to be the narcissist may say things like this, like, oh, I didn't see the text. My battery died. I was too busy. Uh, you can do without that message. Like, what are you talking about? It's no big deal. Things like that, they would just downplay it and they would deflect any introspection or any accountability, which leads me to the next part. You are accountable. Yes, do you make mistakes? Of course you do. We all make mistakes, each and every one of us. That is what makes us us. Having said that, the narcissist doesn't believe they make mistakes. How many times did you hear them say, I apologize, I was wrong, I am sorry, it was my fault. Let me try to work on that. I want to change, I want to improve. No, you're not gonna hear that. And if you do hear it, it won't be heartfelt. It will just be out of one side of their mouth because they feel like they're obligated to say that to make you feel like you were heard. Which leads me to the next reason why you are not, you don't think like the narcissist. Were you ever heard in the relationship? Probably not. But were you, were your ideas stolen from you? Of course they were. Did you get credit when credit was due? No, why? Because the narcissist needs to keep you down low. They don't want to build you up. Their whole purpose is to extract from you and place themselves high on the pedestal while diminishing you. Tough pill to swallow, but it's real. Keep in mind, you weren't education on narcissism and or the narcissistic abusive cycle in school. You're getting the wisdom on channels like mine and many others. And again, thank you very much for being here. And this is a huge thing. Maybe you just discovered narcissism a couple days ago. Maybe this is your first video watching and learning about it. Maybe you've known it for decades. The whole point is each and every day, we are trying to learn. We're trying to learn, teach, and grow. We are moving forward. We're becoming the best versions of ourselves. We are not fine tuning our skills to find out how we can man manipulate unsuspecting individuals. That's what the narcissist does. Notice again, how the narcissist blows up every relationship they're a part of. And this includes friendships, romantic relationships, siblings, moms, dads, neighbors, community members, whatever it is, every, exp every narcissistic relationship has an expiration date. I'm certain you know that by now or you're learning it. But you don't think like the narcissist. You don't think, you don't think, the, nar the narcissist doesn't think like you. They don't think rationally or logically. They think black and white, good and bad. That's it, there's no gray area. There's no room for discussion with the narcissist. The room for discussion, that's what you've been trying to do. You've been trying to have an adult conversation and to communicate with them. Did that ever happen? No, it didn't. Why? Because you most likely experienced blame shifting or rage fits or the silent treatment or being stonewalled, or being not accountable. And I could go on and on with those adjectives. The point is, really digest what I'm mentioning to you. You don't think like the narcissist. 
The narcissist certainly thinks one way. They think about extracting as much as they possibly can from unsuspecting individuals or from people that they believe can provide a service for them. Meaning, again, perhaps you were the errand person, the person that planned vacations, the person who was being future faked, the person who was paying the bills, the person who made the narcissist look good. And remember, again, behind closed doors, you were being abused, most likely. And to the general public, everyone thought that your relationship was all puppies and unicorns. It wasn't. But yet, yet there you were in the narcissistic fog working for the narcissist. What were they doing? They were looking for your replacement. Yes, they were. And right now, wherever the narcissists are all over the globe, they're not satisfied. They're not satiated. They're not living their best life. They are looking for the, the next replacement. That's why the narcissist blows up relationships. They can't have anything stable. They can't have anything drama free. They're, they're always on the endless, endless quest searching for something they will never find. Their cup can't be full because there's always something, the moving goalposts. It's never good enough for them. It never will be. So why you don't think like the narcissist? Because you don't manipulate people. You don't abuse people. You don't play psychological games and act like nothing happened. You don't use a smear campaign and tell false truths about an individual, which turned out to be you, when you didn't even know what was going on. In other words, my hope is you're living your best life and you are a wholesome, beautiful, bright, shining light. That's why you're on the channel. What is the narcissist? They're an empty shell. They're a car that looks great because, because perhaps it has a brand new paint job, but when you lift up the hood, there's nothing there. There's no accountability, there's no introspection, there's no gr growing or learning. What there is, is there is a person who is actually a bully and a coward. And what do they want to do? They wanna keep up that facade as long as they possibly can. They can't be genuine, they can't be authentic. Think about it this way. If you were discarded, and my hope is you weren't, but if you were, think about that. Did the narcissist ever give you closure? Did they ever sit down and have that cup of coffee with you and discuss things with you? Of course not, why would they do that? They wanted you in your lowest point, at your lowest point. They wanted you not to get closure. They didn't want to communicate with you. They've never wanted to communicate with you. As a matter of fact, most likely when they discarded you, if they did, and if they did again, my heart goes out to you, I'm not trying to trigger you, that they most likely try to inflict as much pain and damage as possible on you to keep you in the narcissistic fog, to keep your head spinning, to keep you wondering, to keep you ruminating. That's where they want you. Why? Because then they want you to go back and try and get answers from them. And the whole time they're saying to themselves, wow, this person's really, they're so desperate. Like they can't, they can't do anything without me. Things like that. But it's not until you get the wisdom and you understand that you are part of a game. You were being manipulated. Each and every day you were with the narcissist. You were being manipulated. And think about all the financial abuse perhaps you endured or all the things you did or all the attention and or energy you placed on the relationship and the narcissist. It was all about them, wasn't it? It was. And when you tried to reason with them and say, hey, I think maybe you want to do this, this, and this, they would say, uh, no, I want to do that, that, and that. Why? Because anything coming from you, excuse me, it can't be validated. It can't be valuable. They think they're better than you. They think they know more than you. They don't want to introspect. This is exactly the life of the narcissist. And if you really understand my message, drop comments below. I am certain you know what I'm talking about. Now, is, are all, is the narcissist anything other than a manipulator? Yeah, they are a coward and they're a bully and they do not want to actually ever take ownership of their poor behavior. It's the way they are. So do, do you think like, why you don't think like the narcissist? Because you're not built that way. You're built to build people up and to share experiences and insight with the world and to help contribute to make this place called Earth a better place. The narcissist is the opposite. Yeah, sure, maybe they contribute in some ways. I'm not saying they don't. But what I will say is overall, the narcissist wants to tear you down. They want to inflict the most pain on the people that care about them the most, which many times are the romantic relationships or the trusted loved ones around them. It's not until those people get the wisdom and they understand, wait, I keep going back to help this person who turns out to be a narcissist out, but they're not changing. They're not changing because they don't think like you. They think that you are, that they own you. They think that you are, in, that you have to contribute to their destruction and their chaos. And what I mean by that is the narcissist, they need flying monkeys. They need people around them. They need enablers to continue to keep this facade going. That's what they need. <coughs> Excuse me. 
That's how it is. That's why the narcissist doesn't think like you. And, and certainly you don't think like them. Now, can you place yourself in their shoes and say like, wow, why would you do that? I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, of course you can, because you can reason and you can say to yourself, that was poor behavior. I wouldn't have done that. But then if you brought that up to the narcissist, what are they going to say to you? They're going to say, oh, don't be such a baby. What are you talking about? You're always playing the victim. It's no big deal. Move on. And no one else cares. They, see what I mean? That's what they will do. That's why talking to the narcissist, it's like it doesn't benefit you especially when you've gone no contact, blocked, removed all flying monkeys and deleted the narcissist and you're beginning to heal and live in your best life. Any communication with the narcissist, once you know who they are, it doesn't benefit you. It's not going to help you out. All you're going to get is word salad, unaccountability, blame shifting, and how you destroyed the relationship and on and on. So guys, that's the video. I hope you liked it. I loved doing it from beautiful, from the beautiful Carolinas. This is Andrew. Namaste. Have a great evening. Stay true, stay blessed. Continue to become awakened and aware and understand you are the priority. And you don't think like the narcissist because you can have empathy and you can be kind and loving and you can give without expectation. The narcissist is the opposite of that. They are always looking for an angle, always looking to one-up you, always looking to win, always looking to control, to manipulate, to destroy, and then go on to the next person and on and on and on. So guys, no matter where you are on the planet, you are not alone. I love you. Have a great evening and I will talk to you tomorrow. All right. Good night, you guys. Bye.